Hey there weavers, welcome back. This is Grace with Tangled Webs Weaving and I am ready to start weaving my Diamonds and Bars Twill Rug. So as a reminder from the previous videos, uh, we took this project and changed the size from 19 inches wide by 31 inches long to approximately uh, 31 inches wide and 47 inches long. And then we wound the warp and beamed it onto the loom. And now I've got it threaded through the heddles and the reed. My tie-up is done and I've wound my bobbins. So we're finally ready to weave. So the uh, ends per inch on this project is six, but it is a weft-faced structure, bound weave, and the picks per inch will be 46. So we're going to have to be really um, beating it firmly into place. Let's see how we do. So the, f the first thing that I am going to do, and this doesn't call for it in the pattern, uh, but I've done this on another rug and I like the effect. So we're going to try it out on this rug. If I don't like it, I can always take it out. So you can see that I have my header in here and I just used uh, some extra weft yarn. And I am going to use a uh, technique for the hem uh, called twining. And I'm going to try a couple different, uh, different methods. Um, one is uh, two, um, two cord twining and the other is three cord twining. And I think we'll, we'll start off with the two cord twining and see how that looks. So the first thing that we do is we just do a, a plain weave. And I'm using the same yarn as uh, the weft is. And because I don't have a true plain weave shed or threading, um, I'm just going to pick this up manually. And it's easy to do. Now I'm going to pull all but a short section of this length through to this left side, to the far side. All right, and I'm going to leave um, a tail, a good sized tail hanging. And we'll kind of push this down almost to our header. So now I've switched to uh, a tapestry needle and for every where that the weft goes over the top of the warp, we're going to go under that warp and then under the weft also. So we'll pull that all the way through. And tighten it up. And then we're going to take our yarn and kind of put it back over here on the left. So wherever it goes under, we're going to go over the top, under the bottom, and then under the weft. Okay, and again, under the warp, under the weft, and pull it through. Now you want to kind of tighten it up, but you don't want to draw in. Uh, you want to keep 
the spacing of your warp threads fairly consistent. So we push this back over here and go over under the warp, under the weft. We'll just continue to work our way across.
All right, so I am at the end of my twining and I'm just going to kind of tighten these up and then I'm going to create a loose knot here at the end just to kind of keep everything stable and uh, then I'll cut this off. fairly long and then when I uh, figure out what I'm going to do with my my fringe uh, I can go ahead and incorporate these tails from the twining in with whatever I do with the hem or with the fringe. Um, I probably will do a, a double Damascus edge and then bury the fringe or the warp threads into the uh, rug so that they are not visible. So now we'll go ahead and start the weaving process. 